Hello guys, Ants of Britain here. Today I'm bringing you a very informative video and that is going to be on what is a nuptial flight. This is going to be one of the frequently asked questions I get on my channel and on my Instagram profile via the DMs. And so I'm going to be answering that question very simply but it's going to give you a lot of information about nuptial flights themselves so if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any more awesome ant content and if you do have any questions of your own on anything ant related make sure you leave it in the comment section below and also follow me on instagram so you don't miss out on any secret behind the scenes on the channel. A nuptial flight is when a reasonable sized colony, normally over a thousand workers, start to produce ringed male and queen ants. The queen of a colony produces unfertilized eggs, these become males, and the standard fertilized eggs are given more food during their larvae development to become the queen elates. The reason why the colony produces many of these elates is because it's highly unlikely that a single queen will survive this process, at least on her own. For example, Example, some queens die via being eaten by spiders or animals or even stood on by humans etc. The day that the ringed ants have their nuptial flight is a day which follows a rainstorm but the flight day must be warm but still damp so the new queens can dig their new nest. The queens and males will fly off to mate within the air. After the males have sex with a queen they will die. This is because they are fulfilling their only purpose in their life. On average, a queen elate will have sex with five or more male ants. After the queen has had enough sex, she makes her way back to the surface and removes her wings after she finds a site to dig her foundations of her new empire, sometimes shared with other queens. These ants are called polygenistic species. It takes a month or two before her first batch of eggs turn into her first nanitics, also known as the first generation of worker ants. These tend to be smaller than the other generation of ants. After three years of survival, the colony is more than likely to repeat the process and have a nuptial flight of their own. So then guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure to subscribe, follow my Instagram, and if you haven't already, check out KB Revelations. He's recently been suffering from a YouTube purge. If you don't know what that is, he's got a video on that on his YouTube channel, so go check that out. Make sure you subscribe to him, he's such a legend, and he is a gamer, so for all your gaming needs, make sure you do check him out. But also, don't miss out on any more content on my channel, so make sure you subscribe. Check out my Instagram, follow me, so you can get all the updates, all the behind the scenes of what's going on around here. And make sure you stick around for the 200th subscriber special for Makarufa in the wild. So until next time guys, ciao for now.